I started to redecorate our backyard and I wanted to show you some dollar store DIYs that I did to spruce up small little areas. These are all ridiculously easy. You just need a paint and a drill for the most of them. So I found these in the garden section and I wanted to turn it into a planter. So I grabbed my drill and a piece of scrap wood and just a drill bit that was thick enough to make holes in the bottom of this pail. And I went ahead and drilled through the bucket into the scrap wood. I took a hammer and hammered down the holes to make sure that the bottom was even and then removed the scrap wood and grabbed my base. I decided to paint it a flat black because I'm going to do our entire backyard in white and black with pops of greens. Once this was all painted, I just potted a dollar store plant within the planter we just drilled holes into and placed it on the pedestal and I think it looks really awesome. I repeated the same process minus the drilling, I just did the painting for this watering can. For this next DIY, I found these long matches, so I brought them home and I had a glass jar on hand. I grabbed some E6000 and scissors. I removed the matches and then ripped that little base part off where you light them. I trimmed around the edges of where you light them and then I grabbed my E6000 and dabbed some on the bottom of that glass jar. I added the matches to the actual glass jar and now you have an easy and decorative way to light them. The matches are going to go along with this next DIY which I just picked up some various barbecue accessories and I found this really cute pail in the garden section and I simply added them to this pail because I'm going to curate a little tray that's going to go near the barbecue area. Now this tray I did pick up at Home Goods. It was $16. It was the most expensive thing that I bought for this little mini makeover. And I just arranged the various items that we put together earlier, plus some coasters and a little succulent to bring some green into the situation on top of this tray. And I'm gonna place it near the barbecue area as a little entertaining tray or I mean barbecue tray at that. <laughs> For this last one, I'm just gonna paint the outside of these pots because I didn't like how glossy and tan they were. They meshed with my backyard. But first I wanted to add some holes so I put some painter's tape on the outside of the bottom of this vase. I flipped it over because I'm gonna drill from the inside and I grabbed that scrap wood piece and my drill from earlier and just basically repeated the same process, just was a lot more gentle. After my holes were drilled, I went ahead and added some painter's tape to cover up the white speckled area. And you wanna make sure you do this in pieces because if you just do one continuous piece, it won't be smooth and the paint will leak that we are about to add. So just be sure to rip them up into smaller pieces and then smooth it out with your nail. I added a coat of spray paint, which obviously is gonna be flat black to match everything else, but you can totally get creative and marbleize it if you want. I have a video on that as well. It's like a water technique, it's really awesome. But I just peeled off the tape. I liked how it looked, so I planted another mini succulent in it, and I'm gonna add that to the little area we're about to put together. This is just a very small portion of my backyard. It's very awkward to tackle the whole thing of how it's laid out. I am gonna give you a tour of the before and kind of walk you through my process. I might do a YouTube live and just walk you guys through and get your opinions on some things. So be on the lookout for when I announce that. But for the most part, just feel it in your gut how you wanna decorate the space. I wanted to make a tray that was handy to have right there by the barbecue where they can grab the tools. And it was just easy to put away if need be. Did I also mention that I spent less than $30 redoing this, which is also cool. It gives me faith that I can do my whole backyard on a really awesome budget. So be sure to stay tuned, but I'll see you Wednesday with another DIY. Thank you for all of the love. I cannot believe we're almost at 60,000 subscribers. We just hit 50 last week. Thank you guys. Love you. Ciao, ciao, ciao.